So you're ready to run a survey for a class or project, and you've got it already written and ready to distribute. But have you thought about the single best method for getting your survey out? And how privacy issues might affect your survey responses? Do you know how changing the distribution and privacy options for your survey would alter the data? Don't worry, we're here to help. We'll explain the basics about your choices for distributing surveys, and we'll show you some examples using Duke's powerful and flexible Qualtrics survey software. You've probably already double-checked that your survey design avoids the classic pitfalls that will contaminate your data or make analysis needlessly difficult, like you know the types and ranges of values your data should return, you wrote simple, clear questions, you avoided binary agree-disagree questions, and you didn't ask any questions that were too complicated or clearly biased. If you'd like to double-check any of these, the friendly staff at the Connection Bar of Duke's Social Sciences Research Institute can help you meet as many goals of good survey design as possible. With all research involving human subjects, you need to make sure that your work is being done in an ethical way that protects the privacy of your participants. Luckily, you don't need to reinvent the wheel of ethics because Duke provides a lot of help for following good ethics guidelines, known commonly as IRB for the Institutional Review Board. We'll get you started on the major things to think about, but also check out the link below to find out more. Once the question design is set and you need to get the survey out to your sample population, how do you figure out the best option for distribution, both for getting quality data back and respecting the privacy of your participants? Or to think about this from a completely new direction, imagine that the survey is like planning a great party. You want to have a lot of people come and have fun, but you need to figure out how to balance having a great crowd and avoiding any unanticipated problems. Well, when it comes to sending out surveys and keeping the results private, it turns out that there are three main paths to pick from. At the high privacy end of surveys, the most common type of survey distribution is the simple anonymous email link, which provides the easiest way to get the most responses and gives the most privacy for respondents. It's like hosting a costume party that's totally open to the public. It's the easiest way to get a big crowd, but nobody knows who anybody else is. Having a survey that is so open and anonymous also means that you can't know who answered, nor what any one particular person chose as a response, and you won't be able to detect if any respondents distort your results by answering the survey multiple times. But when done well, it makes for easy data security. If someone steals a laptop with a data, for example, you're in the clear on ethical grounds. The data is totally anonymous, so no amount of data crunching will let the thief identify specific real people from their survey responses. Way at the opposite end of the distribution and security spectrum, you can create individual email links for each respondent in your sample pool and identify each of these individuals in the data. This is like having a party where you require your guests to RSVP and nobody there is wearing a costume. You know exactly who's coming, and you can identify each individual there. These surveys require the most security work behind the scenes, but they give you the most accurate information about who is responding because each participant and response is identified to be a very specific individual. This means that you can build a richer data set and have the option to do follow-up interviews or questionnaires with these people over time. However, since you know exactly who's responding and what they said, this kind of survey requires the most effort into making sure that the data is kept secure. In between these two extremes, the option of distributing your survey with individual email links, but keeping these responses anonymous in the data. This would be like having a costume party with RSVPs. You know that certain people are in the room, but you can't figure out who any one person actually is. This option for surveys allows you to identify that a particular person is one of the participants, but won't let you associate their name with any of the particular data points, thereby keeping their answers anonymous. This is the most flexible arrangement for distribution and security, but it's not completely free of ethical concerns. It may not be ethical, for example, for a professor to keep tabs on which students in their class have responded, even if they can't identify any specific specific responses. These three major options of distributing your survey, whether through completely anonymous email links, identified email links and data, or identified email links with anonymous data, they're all possible with Duke's Qualtrics system, and you can pick the best compromise for your own research project. There are a few quick questions you can ask yourself to help pick among them. Do you have a list of names and email addresses that you want to send the survey to? If no, then go with a fully anonymous email link. Are your participants your students, employees, or someone that you have authority over? If yes, then you might have to use a fully anonymous link. 
Do you want to send reminder emails or check for duplicate entries? If yes, you might want identified distribution with anonymous responses. Do you need to contact participants later in time and link those responses to your initial data? If you do, you need identified participants and identified results. Do you need to link your survey responses to another data set? If yes, then you need identified participants and identified results. So to summarize the three main options, Be sure to visit your friends at SSRI's Connections Bar Help Desk early in the process to speed up and improve your survey success and security. And check out the many helpful videos and extensive documentation online that Qualtrics provides at Qualtrics University. So are you ready to go out and make the smart choice for survey distribution and privacy? That's the spirit!